I want to talk a little bit about the sucker punch that happened uh, yesterday against the Richard Spencer guy, the alt-right dude, because I see a lot of people talking about this, and it's really, really, really disappointing to me. Um, when, when you have, as a, as a general rule of thumb, if you have a certain belief, and that belief is never tested, then that belief has no merit. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you live your life by the rule, love your enemy or whatever, right? And you go through and you circle jerk with all of your friends about that thing. And you always talk about how you'll forgive everybody, blah, 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 blah. And then you come up against in an extreme situation where somebody does you an extreme wrong and you find that you are unable to forgive that person. You're unable to move past it. You hold a grudge for the rest of your life, right? Obviously, you didn't hold that belief very strongly, right? It was just some lip service. Um, what do they? What do the alt right cucks always call it? Um, virtue signaling bullshit, right? You didn't actually mean what you said. You were just trying to make it look like you meant what you said. Um, if you're, if you're, I don't, unfamiliar with this. Richard Spencer is a disgusting piece of shit. He's, he's just a horrible person. Um, leader. I, I don't want to say leader of the alt right. He, I think he claims that he coined the term alt right. There's like a few people that do though. Um, he is an unabashed white nationalist, racial superiority kind of person. He thinks that white people are better than black people. Um, or other, or any other kind of minority, you know, advocates for the white purity of Europe and all that shit. He's a disgusting piece of shit. That being said, you cannot condone violence against people that have ideological differences than you. Full stop. It is never acceptable to go out onto the street and hit somebody because you don't agree with what they say. That's not how this country is supposed to work. I say America. Maybe in other countries it might be different. Um, I know that in the United Kingdom and Germany, I know that um, your hate speech laws work a little bit differently. But if you genuinely believe that somebody is doing something in the United States that qualifies under hate speech, um, you report it to the police and, and have the, the court system take care of it. When you go out onto the street and you enact vigilantism, you are decrying two of the most fundamental, important things that exist to you as an American. One is your freedom of speech, the ability for you to say what you believe without inciting violence directly or anything like that. And two, due process, okay? You cannot think that it is okay, no matter what the person says or what your people believe or whatever, that you can walk out onto the street and physically assault somebody. It's not acceptable. It's horrible, and it weakens your position. And it plays into everything that that side of, of the argument wants to believe, that, that the enemies are violent, that, um, that BLM are thugs, that um, the leftists are just looking to beat up and, and hit everybody and, and hurt everybody that disagrees with them. I mean, these are things that I would have said are not true. People on the left or people in the center generally want people to get along and be peaceful. But after yesterday, I'm not so sure. I've got 50 million fucking black people tweeting at me that punching people that are Nazis or whatever is okay. Why? Why do you think that's acceptable? Once you, people always get into this weird mindset of like the ends justify the means, but they never understand what the actual ends are, right? You think that it's okay to punch a Nazi because he's a neo-Nazi, right? But what have you really just done there? You said that it's okay to punch somebody that you have a vehement disagreement with, right? So what stops? So let's say a Trump goes out onto the street and starts beating up Muslims because Islam is a horrible ideology, and and you know what? What do you say to that person? No, you can't go out and beat that person up. And they go, well, actually, yes, I can, because if you look at all these Muslim countries around the world where women are oppressed and even in progressive places like Indonesia where female genital mutilation is rampant and people like ISIS and 9-11 yeah I think I can go out and beat up Muslims what leg do you have to stand on to tell that person that he's wrong to go out and physically assault these people you can't say shit you have to shut the fuck up and watch it happen because you it's your fault because you played into this your beliefs mean fuck all if you're not willing to extend them to people to the people that you disagree with the most. You have to understand that. The First Amendment in the United States doesn't exist to protect speech that everybody agrees with. We don't need laws for that. That speech protects and furthers itself. You don't need a law to come out and say things that everybody agrees with. You don't, you don't need a law to protect that kind of speech. The First Amendment was specifically written to protect unpopular speech, however unpopular it may be. That's supposed to be the thing that makes us great Americans, right? That was supposed to be the thing that set us apart when we make fun of Europe and, and when we make fun of the United Kingdom for banning porn and for having hate speech laws, or when we make fun of uh, Germany for not being allowed to do this without getting a fine, right? We make fun of them as Americans because we celebrate that we have the freest of speech in the land. And then you think that it's okay to go out and punch people because they have certain extremist beliefs? It's not okay. It's absolutely not okay. And it's so disappointing that so many people are quick to defend physical violence uh, against people that you disagree with when only 50, 60 years ago we were beating up black people in the street. 
fuck, you could find more recent examples. Or beating up gay people for being abhorrent, disgusting people, right? Homosexuality is wrong. It destroys the family. You should be able to beat them up. Where do you think that kind of violence comes from, right? Or what about the Islamic terrorists that attack in the United States that go to gay nightclubs, right? Or they go to certain work events and, and kill Christians and kill heathens in the West, right? All of these people operate under this fundamental assumption that violence against people that disagree with you is okay. That's not us. It shouldn't be us. I don't know. Or maybe it is you. Maybe, maybe the country is so much fucking different than I ever thought it was or was supposed to be. But you, it is not... I don't even, I don't, I'm not even sure who my audience is anymore when I'm, when I'm talking about things like this because it seems like people on both sides are fucking crazy, dude. It seems like both people on both sides are fucking crazy. I'll never align myself um, with, with people on the right that, that deny science, that deny climate change, that, that think that Christianity is fucking good for the world or some shit. I'm, I'm never going to find allies in these groups of people. But then I go to the left and I see people saying that violence is okay in the streets against people that you disagree with. Are you fucking serious? And you've got these ignorant fucking black people tweeting at me um, saying things like and I say black specifically they're tweeting at me saying things like well America was founded on violence so how are you saying we can't use violence now America was also founded on slavery dog do you want to go back to that the fuck kind of argument is that I think that violence sometimes can be okay as an absolute last resort when all other options are um, are exhausted but this idea that you find somebody saying bad things on the street, that you can just walk up and punch them, is fucking disgusting. And if you find yourself championing that behavior, I, I humbly request that you take one moment and stop and think about the implications of what you're saying. The next time somebody goes out to beat up a gay person or to, to, or to kick and beat up a fucking Muslim or to walk into a church and start shooting um, black people, right? think about what you've said it's okay to do against people that disagree with you. If you have a belief or, or something that you feel strongly about, like you shouldn't be violent towards people, and you're not willing to extend that belief to the people that you disagree with the most, you don't have that belief. You're a virtue signaling piece of shit that has no moral backbone and crumbles at the first, uh, at the first confrontation with adversity. The first time something challenges your belief and it crumbles, right? You're nothing. Um, fuck, dude. I'm really, really, really disappointed to see how many people are, are championing the punching of this dude it represents everything that's wrong with the united states today not really there are more things wrong with the united states today but like god damn dude it's it's unbelievable to me that so many people can think that that going out into the street and punching some dude in the face um who wasn't causing any trouble he wasn't being violent to anybody um he wasn't calling for anybody to be murdered or anything right there or anything um it's disgusting to me um that's not what we're supposed to be about as americans